mean seriously, you'd think after so much disruption, after so many things going on, that the government would just let us get on with exams and not change stuff this close. But that's what it looks like they're doing. It looks like they're seriously considering changing the exam timetable five weeks before exam starts. Now I'm sure you guys feel exactly the same way as I do, like really busy, really stressed, really overwhelmed at the moment. I have spent the whole of last week getting all of the predicted papers up on the website, so that's GCSE Science, GCSE Maths, A-Level Chemistry, A-Level Maths, predicted papers for 2022 and are up on my website ready to download. I was going to spend today working on A-Level Chemistry Paper 3 for AQA because that is the one that is missing. Um, but it appears today that I'm actually trying to research what on earth the government is up to because it's not entirely clear what they're doing. Now, just as I was sitting down last night, um, getting to the end of the day, sitting down with a cheeky, tiny little glass of wine and a box of chocolates, Google popped up this article. It's kind of like, oh, we think you might be interested in this. And it's kind of like, exam timetable changes. And I'm kind of like, oh, I mean, to be fair, Google, that is something that I'm interested in, but it's a Friday night. You could have... You could have waited. And it turns out there was an article in the Times yesterday where it appears that Nadim Sahawi has told schools that GCSE and A-level exams need to be 10 days apart. So in each subject, they need to be 10 days apart to avoid disruption from COVID. Now, there are so many things to unpick in this statement. First of all, the reason they're 10 days apart is if you can't write, you miss like maths, paper one, because you've got COVID, hopefully 10 days later, by the time you get to paper two, you'll be okay and able to sit that exam. You know, with a 10 day isolation, um, you shouldn't miss more than one exam. So even if you do miss an exam for COVID, if the next exam is 10 days later, then you should be able to sit like two out of the three exams or one out of the two exams and still get a grade, hopefully, for that. The problem is that is not how the exam table timetable sits. There is not 10 days between the papers for any particular subject, between paper one and paper two. That's just not how it is. So it's not as if this was decided months and months ago when the exam timetable was set. It appears he's just said this. And the fact that he said it to schools. Does he think that schools are in charge of exam timetables? Because if he does, then, like, I mean, he should know he's in charge of education in this country. He should know that the schools individually are not the people that set exam timetables. It's the exam boards. And I'm honest, I don't know exactly how exam timetables are set. It's not a coincidence that Edexcel and AQA both have biology paper one on the same day at the same time. That's not a coincidence. They sort it out all together between them, okay? And if you try and sort anything out altogether between big organisations, that is a lot of work. So I asked the exam boards last night, and to be fair, it was Friday night, and I asked on Twitter, and I don't want to be working Friday nights, you don't want to be working Friday nights, I don't expect the exam boards to be working Friday nights, so I haven't had a response from any of the exam boards, because it was Friday night, so I, like, I'm not in any way suggesting that they should have responded to me. However, unofficially, I have heard from people with the exam boards that they've never heard this before. This is brand new information for them. So, it appears that the person in charge of education in this country, five weeks before the exams are due to start, has told people via a newspaper, I'm sure the Times got it from somewhere else, I haven't been able to find that yet, I'm working on it, the exams need to be 10 days apart. What? We cannot change the exam timetables this close to the exams. Is he going to bring them forward, which means you have less time to revise? Is he going to shift them later, which means there's less time to mark them, there's less time to get things out in time for results day? Does that mean results day is going to be pushed up? Does that mean that's going to affect, like, um, the time you have to appeal grades to get onto university places? I mean, this is... To make this announcement, like the Friday, either the middle Friday of Easter holidays or just as you're about to break up for the holidays, and then just kind of like casually fling this statement out into the, to the internet and then not give us any actual information is really 
like, I want to say irresponsible. Now, I can kind of see how it probably came around. They had to make a statement about something. They didn't really know what it was. They just came up with this great idea. And they didn't really think it through. Because the people in charge of education in this country have never actually done anything in education. I know, it's shocking. If you ask any teachers, they would have said, no, you can't change the exam timetable this close to the exams. What are you talking about? And if you're going to make a statement like that, and was specifically related to COVID, which is going on at the moment, we're not going to automatically assume that you're talking about 2023 exams because I really hope we're not in this situation with COVID going around the country next year. I said that in 2020 as well and look how wrong I was. But anyway. So this is where we stand, guys. It is like 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning and I'm doing this because I've got a load of work to get on with today. I've got to write those chemistry papers um, and get them up on the website for you. Um, do not ask your schools because they do not know the answers, okay? They literally have as much information as, as I have. And as soon as I get information, I'm up here at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning making a completely impromptu video and getting it uploaded for you as soon as possible. The best place to uh, find information would be straight from the person who said it himself. So what I strongly suggest you do is get a Twitter account, if you're old enough, and then go and ask Nadim Sahawi or the Department for Education on Twitter. Um, at the minute, that will make them pay attention to them at me and I'll retweet it. Let's just really try and find out what is going on as quickly as possible from the person who said it. Um, the exam boards, as far as I'm aware, do not know anything. So, like, don't email the exam boards because they don't know. Your schools don't know. The person that knows what he meant when he said it would be Nadim Zahawi. So ask him. You can get him on Twitter. I'm 100% sure he's not going to like me for saying that. But honestly, I've never really been a fan of education secretaries. Don't know why. I'd really like a nice one. What I'd really like is an education secretary who used to be a teacher. That would be the dream. Oh, that would be the actual dream. Anyway, I'm now waffling. I've got to go and write comes to paper and to get it up for you. Um, if you do put something out on social media, at me in it, and then I will retweet it, and we'll try and get an answer to this as quickly as possible for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>